Hello everybody, how you all going? I just thought I'd do a video in relation to this COVID-19 virus that's going around the world at the moment. So this video I'm doing for you guys here is I've been asked a few times questions from people what sort of kai would you grow in your garden if we have uh, food shortages and you have to rely on your own food that you gather and catch, hunt and grow in your garden. I'm in my garden now here in New Zealand it is now autumn so we are all uh, growing stuff for our winter kai food like brassicas and uh, silver beet and stuff like that and all our summer crops which we've grown pumpkin potatoes kumara would all be in storage and it will keep keep us going over winter with that sort of kai what I've got growing here this is without any COVID-19 thing in mind when I grew it. I grew this because I grow this every year in my garden for winter. I'll just show you guys what I've got here in my little garden for my family here in New Zealand. Now, the three vegetables I would grow, pumpkin. Pumpkin's great, you grow it over summer and you store it in winter for all your winter stews, soups, roasts, pumpkin and all that so what I have here is I've got one plant and one pumpkin there I've got one big one there and a couple of small ones there and there now this we're now in March so this will soon die off and then the plants uh, the pumpkin will be ready to harvest and we will store that in the shed so we've got four pumpkins here for one plant. Also here I've got my puha, puha plant which has just finished seeding and the seeds have all dropped so this will grow over winter and we'll get some puha from that for your greens. Now it's coming over here, over here, oops, shit. over here I've got a lot of my potatoes here are ready to harvest. I've got some uh, potatoes grown in here and there's about five rows of potatoes and you can either leave it in the ground or you can take it out and store it somewhere nice and dry and cool, cool little area and those potatoes there will give us enough kai for quite a while without having to go to the shop to buy it. So here in March in New Zealand I've got my potatoes there ready to harvest soon and my pumpkins there which is also ready to harvest now I've got some snow peas over here but apart from that over here I have some silver beet six silver beet and also have some green uh, oh, also have some spinach and those are your greens that you need for winter so that's another one food that I always grow in winter and it keeps the family fed with lovely tasty greens and these are really easy to grow. Grow easy to grow and really quick to grow. So I've got some there and a couple here, spinach. Only been in the ground for about just over two weeks now from seedling. Got some legs growing here. These legs will do really well. Nice little winter food. Two bucks in the shop to buy these at the moment in the shop. If the shops are closed, you can't go into the shop. Well, I've got my legs there, but they'll be a long way off still. And then you also have your brassicas, which I grow over winter. Cauliflowers, cabbages, cauliflowers. I've got some broccoli seedlings here as well. So my top three vegetables to have for me personally at this time of the year would be pumpkins which are growing and should be uh, ready to store soon for winter and potatoes which are easy to grow, grow them in the summer, store them in the winter you have enough kai there to keep it going for winter also kumara, if you grow kumara, kumara is another one, sweet potato and then you have your greens, silver beet and spinach and your puha if you can grow that as well so hope you guys all stay safe out there and we'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy, bye.